I dove in one of the few tourist submarines. A few weeks back, while on an expedition cruise, I was able to dive on board a state-of-the-art six-passenger submarine. We hopped onto a Zodiac to ride from the ship to the dive site. We climbed in one by one and found our seats. I was assigned to seat five. Each seat is carefully chosen based off your weight. The pilot worked through the safety checklist. He let me drive the sub, which was cool. The sub was actually surprisingly simple to operate given the vast amount of buttons and screens. With a long list of pre-checks completed, it was time to descend. Some a few notes of what you may be wondering. There is no toilet on this sub. If the pilot is unresponsive, then it automatically surfaces after 10 minutes. There is enough oxygen to survive for 48 hours and unlikely chance something happens. The first thing I noticed as we started to descend down was how the colors changed. With the lack of UV light, everything started turning green, including us. Water visibility is always low in this area, so we mostly saw green, murky water. But even without seeing much, it just felt surreal to be under the water. As we approached the floor, we did see what looked like a giant pile of gold, but it was really just some muscles or something. As we made contact with the floor, it kicked up the coolest formation of debris, which was mesmerizing. We started to make our way back up, and a few minutes later, we reached the surface.